Hello everybody, my name is Slade Gaming Genie, and welcome to Alone in the Dark. This game came out today, but I was, uh, sleeping for once, which is weird. But, we're gonna start this. Alligator! Or is that a croc? I think that's a crocodile because of the, the smaller snout. Can't tell, I'd have to get a top view of its snout to tell ya. I think that's an alligator. I think I can tell by the, the orientation of the dorsal scales. Because I'm a nerd. Anyways, what are we in, Louisiana? This looks like where Ethan found Mia. Welcome to Alone in the Dark. So, with David with Harbour. Him? What's wrong with him? Oh, look at him go. He's possessed. He's possessed. As in the devil? Oh, look at me, Shadow. It's me, the devil. He says a dark <laughs> man is following him. Watching him at all times. Why is he watching him? Call the cops. It's nonsense, of course. But I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. You see, it runs in my family. Possession. Interesting. No, detective. Deteriorating melancholy. Practically every member of the Hartwood family. Schizophrenia. Before they grow old. But Jeremy didn't kill himself. Is that why he's at your setup? Despite being convinced that he is truly possessed, he decided to put his last chips on Dr. Gray and his psychoanalysis, figuring he might stumble upon some cure. So, Dersetto is this doctor's place? You mentioned the letter. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff of all the other patients of being involved in some. Oh, we're in New Orleans, okay. And now they're also out to get him. Could it be real? Or is it all just in his head? It's a story Probably he tells head. himself, Mr. Hornby. Anything, Anything to, avoid, to the avoid the truth. Which is? I'm excited for this. I haven't played an Alone in the Dark game since before the PS3 one, because I didn't play that one. I played the one on, I want to say PS2, and then before that I played on computer. Old school PC, back when Frogger and Qbert were a thing, because I'm an old man. I've seen that reviews are already up for the game, which leads me to believe that it's either not that long or they had early copies. I want to make sure he's all right. And what's my part in this? You couldn't get a cab? I just wouldn't feel safe going alone. What is not to feel safe about? It's a doctor, correct? Did you bring a gun? Yeah. You think it'll actually come to that? No. But you might need to wave it around, depending on how agreeable the staff would be. What is that supposed to mean? What exactly are we gonna do when we find Jeremy? I don't know. Let's just find him first. Something's wrong with her. Character selection. Gotta go with my boy David Harbour. Edward Carnby. Man, I love this game. Already, already I love this game. I played the Hello? de- Oh, that was a real nice son knocking Hello? sound effect. It looks abandoned. It can't be. There has to be someone around. Man, I need to get better at 3D modeling so that I can make stuff like this for my right game, because this looks great. I'll go around back. Man. It's like I just see everything and I just think about what I can do or how I can use it to learn but I'm also enjoying the experience because I like scary games. Now, it's our boy David Harbour. We're playing. Look for a way inside the house. Okay. Interesting. Rusted out over the uh, uh, rusted out motor. Mediocre spotlight. What appears to be a flashlight in a stable with a key. Now what do we got here? A flashlight, my friend. Have you seen one? Ooh. It's a clue. Alright, a key item. I wonder if the flashlight is considered a clue. That's nice. I like that. 
I wonder if the flashlight is considered a clue because there wasn't another spot for it, or if it just will actually come up and be useful later. Okay, so the flashlight is semi-bound to camera, but mostly bound to character. That's interesting. Run button. It's going to make it difficult to look around my surroundings without fully turning my character, but I believe that's the intention. Oh my gosh. The intention. That was loud. I have my headset turned up probably more loud than it should be. Uh, I'm also not sure what my microphone audio is at, so if I'm yelling, I apologize. I'll try to fix it in the post. Where are you? What the hell was that? I can only assume I need a key for nah, this. I'm not getting in there. I don't think there's a reason for me to get in there. Do you think there is, Mr. Carmby? I'm trying to leave whether his name is Carmby with an M or Carnby with an N ambiguous because I don't remember, so I just say the, the M slash N really ambiguously. Hmm. That looks like the slab from Courage of the Cowardly Dog. We should leave that alone. What is this, a greenhouse? This is a big-ass greenhouse! Wait! I was right, kind of, I think. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God! Stupid birds! What's up here? Lockbox. Now, why are there pistol bullets? And better question, why are... I don't remember what... Are these, are these hollow points? Are these hollow points? I just had a horrible coughing pit. Has a key. Housekeeper key. That's one big tree to fit inside a conservatory. Oh, it's a conservatory. I don't know what that is. <clears throat> My assumption, and correct me if I'm wrong, I refuse to look it up because I am cool. My assumption is that a conservatory is almost like a greenhouse, but specifically meant to uh, shield a specific type of, or a specific set of plants Don't from winter elements. I now have alcohol. Just like me, for real, for real. Let's look in the open rooms before we look in the continued rooms. What is this? Family Bible. Every day your silence weighs a little heavier. It's been a difficult year for everyone, and many have lost all hope. I read in the papers about people suffering. Pictures of dust-covered landscapes without a drop of water. I wish I knew if you were still tending the earth, or if you had turned your back against us. I have started to look for help elsewhere. I pray you will tell me if I'm going down a path that you find disagreeable. With help from Batiste and Charlotte, I found comfort in the practice of the voodoo. Voodoo? I've long been skeptical of that Caribbean cult, but it's been of good use to me. It seems all harmless in my book. I say some words dreamt up by the Creoles, and I carry around a small pocket of gris, gris Nothing of this is mentioned in the Bible, of course, but the French Quarter Priestess tells me it's all connected. She says the Christian God is just one more perspective on the creator of things. That's what I like to think, but the other way around. That the spirits of her faith are just aspects of you. Our Heavenly Father. I am so grateful for the words you gave Mr. Hartwood. We will sing your praises at St. John's Eve. The world will be blessed soon again. Only the sacrifices of the Old Testament compare to your demands. Let it be the truth. A mother of earth, wood, and dirt. A mother of a thousand young. Sacred sand, one dollar. 
Black Cat Oil, dollar fifty. Devil Shoe Strings, a quarter. That makes two dollars and seventy-five cents, madame. What was that you were telling the doctor? A goat without horns. What does that mean? Ah, you must have misheard me, madame. I said no such thing. Please. I know I don't look like any of you, but I'm devout. I'm ready to do what it takes. Mm, do not be so eager to sacrifice the few things you have left, madam. Now please, leave my store. A goat without horns. Well, that was clearly lo a lot more than was written down. So that's interesting, which means we're going to have to listen to those to get more details about what's going on. I'm down for that. I don't know if you guys are down for that. So, let me know if you are. <clears throat> because I want to know what's going on here to the best of my ability. I am... The way I play game... What the hell is that? Someone's shuffling around up there. The way I play games is I do my best my first run. And if I want to know more, I do a second run or I look it up. I'm just stealing all their bullets, by the way. I don't care at this point. <laughs> Stuff is shuffling around and everything. I'm getting the bullets. Ah, they're butchering pigs in here. This room must smell horrible. Rat poison? Like me up. A Great Depression. Oh, it sets? What was that? Lagni Ops are non-essential items that you find throughout the game. Completing sets will uncover forbidden knowledge and sometimes more. <laughs> Carry over from game to game. Some sets can't be completed without playing both Carnby's and Emily's campaigns. Okay, good to know. I expected to probably do both gameplay anyways. I just wanted to do my boy David Harbour first because I love this guy. Super cool. Loved him in Stranger Things. I wonder if this is going to play kind of similar to old school Alone in the Dark, where you have to do, oh my god, a bunch of BS in the backgrounds. And by that I mean, of course, finding all kinds of stuff. Sabotage. Not touch the boiler. It is working after all. While the sabotage has caused... Yuri Lowenthal? Only the decorative plate has been completely ruined. Let's wait for Mr. Chance to turn up and he can take a look at the leak. Mr. Waits. Dude, Yuri Lowenthal is one of my favorite voice actors of all times. That's what I'm saying. Hmm. Okay, I don't have anything for that yet and I can't get through there without, uh... Burning myself alive, I guess. I assume that would probably hurt, so I'm not going to deal with it just yet. That's interesting. Okay, that goes upstairs. What's down here? <clears throat> I have a theory about this, and it's probably wrong, but I feel like this might open up at some point. Why did it open? I'd prefer if it didn't. I am wandering around this house. The good news is, I have 19 bullets. So that's 19 opportunities for something to try me. Lagniop, streetcar ticket. The Crescent City. Alright. Into the stall fridge. What is this, a wine cellar? It is, in fact, a wine cellar. Okay. Well, now we can go upstairs. We've explored everything down here and achieved all the things that we can in this area. So, up the stairs we go to let Emily into the estate. Assuming, of course, something crazy doesn't happen. Or, of course, that, you know... Ooh, locked. A bathroom? 
Ooh. That's a very strange mirror. I have a feeling something's gonna go on with that, or it's a design choice. Hmm. That's a locked door. I need the key. There's Seto floor plans. Okay, so we have a map now. Cool. <clears throat> That's the observatory. That's the front wall. I'm in orderly, I think? Yeah, that should be where I'm at. I'm in orderly. So if I go... Oh, I have to find a way to the plaza, or I have to go around to the grand parlor. Make my way that way. I wonder if I can go upstairs. Hmm. Oh, the plaza key! Nice! So I guess I do have to make my way around to the plaza. <laughs> That's not gonna work. I'm just stealing all their alcohol and bullets, man. This is a crazy person's idea. Lottie's diary. Sunday, June 22nd. I spent all day looking for Jeremy. I should have cared for the others, but I'm scared that he will do something irreversible. Cassandra is upset that I didn't give her the latest shipment of pain medication that Waits brought from the post office yesterday. I would have given it to her, but the company didn't send a new key this time around, so the box is just sitting there on my desk. They must have figured we had plenty of their gimmicky keys by now. I only remember seeing one lately. Grace was playing with it inside the grand parlor. Unless it turns up by itself, it will have to wait. I have to figure out where Jeremy is. I think Jack knew something. That dog of his found a strange rot permeating the house. Huh. She's showing us, he said. Like those blocks and streaks of fetid rot was talking to her. Interesting. So we have a key or a locked uh, medicine box with nothing in it. Death Settle, the old plantation building, was ready to fall, but kept alive by some starry eyed carpetbagger called Dr. Gray. Seeing hmm. how the staff couldn't even be bothered with answering the door, Detective Comby figured they would just head inside and grab Jeremy. He just needed to open the front door for Emily first, so she could talk to her uncle. Hmm. That's interesting. That implies a couple things. I need the key. The first implication is that we are being told a story by someone and these are not real events. Or, the second option is that these are real events, but somebody else is spying on us. And the third option is that it's just an aesthetic design choice. Oh. It's a bear. Well, this isn't interesting. Picayune Post. The Great Depression. President Hoover raises tariffs on over 20,000 imported goods in an act to protect American labor. All right, we can view that later. I have a limited amount of time that I can play this first section, so I want to try to, to power through it. Logging up rubber stamp. Lost children. Okay. So it appears no one is here to check anyone in. Where am I? Reception. Nope. Gotta let her in. Okay. How very intriguing. Thanks. What are you doing? Who are you? I rang the bell. Oh, pardon me. Excuse me. My name is Edward Carnby. It's an Ed. Edward Carnby. I hope you don't mind we let ourselves inside. I do mind. This is private property. You can't just barge in here. I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. It's urgent, and no one was answering the door. We can't hear you knocking anymore. None of us can. Where'd y'all Who come from? Uncle darling? Jeremy. Am I right? She has that heartwood gloom, doesn't she? That's right. I'm Emily Hartwood. Hmm. 
I just came to make sure my uncle is all right. Well, he is unavailable right now. You will have to come back another day. Unavailable? How? Is he sleeping? We can wait. He's lost. Don't I know you from somewhere? Who's your man again, Miss Hotwood? My name's Edward Carnby. Private investigator. Splendid. Enough! All of you, get back to your rooms. Your coffee, keep your eyes on the child. And you two, please leave. Immediately turns away. Look, we're not here to cause any trouble. Just let us see the old man, satisfy the curiosity of my client here, and we'll be off. Jeremy has gone missing. There's no need to worry, but it might be some time before he turns up. The whole staff is looking for him. What? He ran off? I don't have time for any of this. Please, come back tomorrow. No. Right, in that case, we'll just wait in his room. You don't mind, do you? It's upstairs, right? Wait, you can't. You no can't worry. stop me. We'll be discreet. In the corridor. It's the first door on your left. I'll tell Dr. Gray you're here. That's what I thought. Thank you, madam. <laughs> oh, man. That's great. Oh, I love this guy already. <laughs> Gets the job done. I love the 40s, like, gruff detective aesthetic. It's really cool. Like, noir films and stuff. I wonder if this has a noir filter. That would be so cool, but also terrifying. Because you wouldn't be able to see half of the things. Like, I'm sure there's a lot of color variants. Here we are. Let's look around. See if we can pick up any clues. Sounds good. I have to wonder... She's not even in the room. What? Okay, so it's one of those things. Hmm. <clears throat> That's gonna be very interesting. So this is a puzzle box with... Is that Yggdrasil on it? I think? Possibly. This is covered up. Commonplace book. Every night the dark man stands opaque at the threshold of my room. Counting the days until my spirit spills out of my tired shape. Only his pallid mask shelters my remaining sanity. Staring directly into the face of that demonic sultan would surely sunder time itself. Would he have looked the same to my father as he struggled for his life? Does his veiled face haunt my niece quite the same way? I wish so that I could rest my soul in that sunburnt convent of Tarraway. Would I find you there, Juan? Or Signora Pirosi, back from the beyond? Every night I hide from him, moving from one misshapen memory to another. Scenes conjured out of fantasy and delirium. Places I struggle to even paint. I wish I understood your death, Signora. Is there anything I could do for you but bury you in that bleak necropolis? That triumphant chapel rising above the ledges and the oven vaults shall be your sepulchre where you may rest and I shall weep. How did you first come to understand such things, Signora? How did you know that the battered boil in the basement would lead me to Lafayette Cemetery? Or how the old upstairs clock, with its astronomical motifs, would take me to that hateful mound outside of Claremont Harbor? Those are my memories, my past. Is there perhaps a chance, if ever so small, for me to see Tarawaya? Oh, I want that more than anything. Please. Let my talisman take me there. This is Let interesting. I won't go through all of them in this video because I still haven't uh Despite having gotten sold the feedback. Me that talisman, Miss Jackson, the voodoo priestess, revealed none of her secrets to me. That's why I had to travel to Tonk. Instead, she cruelly told Baptiste, my caretaker, that he would be betrayed and killed in the most awful way that the one he loved would pierce his thigh with a sharp spear and that he would be devoured by his own mother. What a terrible thing to say. Huh. Now that's interesting. Okay. 
So there's a lot of voodoo going on here. Oh, cool, the tree piece. Now I can open that. Is he a sculptor? Artist? Look at these emaciated figures. Easy. Easy enough when you can pull the tiles out. Hey, what have we got here? You know anything about this? Looks like some sort of talisman. No, I don't. Oh, help me out here, will you? Now, why would I go and do a thing like that? I thought we were being discreet. <sighs> I want to kill the guy, throw some of this stuff out? I'd be crazy, too, if I had this much junk lying around. Excuse me. How rude of you, Mr. Carnby. Is that him? I want to save this one. Is he trapped in the painting? Is that a possibility? Sure. All right. Come on. I want to go see Dr. Gray. My ears are ringing. That's new. Come on, let's go. Give me yeah, a second. Damn. Chill. Chill your ass out. Miss Hartwood. Emily. I've been sent to the other world. What was that out the window? Now that's interesting. Seems we've happened upon some kind of deviation. Investigate the corner store. You got it, chum! <clears throat> what the? Some bleat. What the hell is that? Okay, well the shooting is interesting. I'm also going to keep trigger effects on because it feels better. How did I know there was a guy around the corner? Dark Souls has taught me so well. Well, that was horrifying. That thing was made out of rot, I guess. Kind of like Resident Evil 7's monsters. Hmm. How very horrifying. Alright. Well, unfortunately, I'm going to have to leave this video here. So if you guys enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all the other stuff. And I will see you all in the next video. This has been Alone in the Dark. I've been Slade, you've been the audience, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.